Jerry of the Circus. for Jerry of the Circus. Well, why don't you go out in front, Jerry? But, Bumps, I want to watch from here tonight. Well, you won't see much of the show. The pad room is a pretty busy place. Pad room? Mm, that's what we call this tent. The performers always wait here until it's time for their act. Oh, kind of a waiting room, huh? Yeah, that's it. Then when we have a quick costume change to make, well, we do it right here. Well, if, if I'm not in the way... Oh, oh, you can stay here if you want to, Jerry. Oh, gee, just to see you all going out and hear the music and, and be close to the animals and all that. <laughs> Dig your toes into the old sawdust, eh? Uh, uh, gets into your blood, doesn't it, Jerry? How do you know? Say, listen, Jerry, what do you think I followed this crazy business for? Money? Say, I could make twice as much in vaudeville or a show in New York and live like decent folk. Oh, but then you wouldn't have the animals and the traveling. And, and the and smells and the sleeping every night on a lumpy bed and sometimes no bed at all, huh? <laughs> yeah. But, Jerry, I wouldn't give up this life for the grandest bed in the world. They're coming in now. Ooh, look at them scramble for the front seat. Yeah, it looks <laughs> nice and clean now, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it won't last long. Oh, Bumps, I wish I really belonged. Oh, you'll think you belong soon enough. Will your arms ache from lugging heavy pails of water, and you don't have time to catch the show for weeks, maybe months. The band's going in. Yeah. Oh, hello there, Jim. Hi, Bob. Looks like a red one tonight. I guess so. Uh, Mr. Randall said the midway was packed. Hey, 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 now, watch your dog there, Jerry. Oh, he's all right. Always stays right by my feet. Gee, I wish someday I could do traps in the band. <laughs> you, you want to double in brass already, huh? <laughs> well, maybe Slim will teach you one of these days. <laughs> oh, who's that beautiful girl? Mm -hmm. oh, oh, that little dark-haired girl. Yeah. There. Uh, she is pretty, isn't she? Now, that's Patsy. What does she do? Why, she's the youngest trapeze artist being starred in the business today. Uh, great future, that little girl. She's got the prettiest eyes. Yeah, and she's a mighty nice girl, too. Well, well there it goes. This, the parade will be starting. Now, remember to keep out from underfoot, Jerry. Sure, I will. Yeah, i got to do my walk around on the head of the pageant. Well, so long, boy. So long, Bump. Aw, oh, gee, Rags, isn't this swell? Rags! Rags! Rags, where are you? If you're looking for that dog, he followed Bumps into the ring. No, I'm not into the main tent. That's where he went. <laughs> oh, gee, what'll I do? I thought it was a new amp Bumps was putting on. The dog crept along behind Bumps just as quiet. Oh. Come on, let's just do this slap. Oh, gee. <laughs> Can you beat that? A little much. Rags, Rags, come here. Gee, Bumps is trying to send him back. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> As soon as Bumps turns around, the dog sneaks back after him on his tummy. <laughs> Where did he ever learn to sit on a foot and hang on like that? Look! <laughs> Every time Bumps kicks him off, he does a complete somersault and gets back on Bumps' big shoes again. <laughs> he used to do that with Dad all the time. Here comes Bumps now. Quick, as soon as he pushes the dog through the curtain, grab him. Okay, I'll get him. 
Golly, Reg sure likes an army. <laughs> oh, gee, do you think we'll get fired? Here he comes now. Quick, Reg, jump! <laughs> Say, that's not a dog, it's a kangaroo. Where did he ever learn to jump like that? He flew through that curtain like a shot out of a cannon. <laughs> Rags, you little mutt, you. <laughs> Shh, quiet, boy. Gee, Rags, why do you do it? Oh, the cute thing putting his paw over his eyes. He knows he's been naughty. I should think you would be ashamed. You're a bad, bad dog. Oh, poor thing. He's begging you to forgive him. He'd better. Want us both to get fired, don't you, Rags? <laughs> he's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, peeking behind your paw. Think we can't see you, huh? Where did he learn to hide his head like that? Oh, that's nothing. He knows a barrel of tricks. Well, come on, Rags. I guess we'd better get back to the tent. I'll walk along with you for a ways. I don't go on for a while. Uh, kind of like that dog of yours, don't you? Kind of. Say, he's all I got. Well, your name's Jerry, isn't it? How do you know? Oh, Bums was telling me about you tonight in the mess tent. Your name's Patsy, isn't it? How'd you know? Bumps was telling me about you tonight in the pad room. <laughs> <laughs> you know, your dad was a good friend of my father's. Your name's Dugan, isn't it? Uh-huh. Oh, I've often heard Papa talk about Danny Dugan. Danny Dugan? Mm -hmm. Well, that's not my dad, but I got an uncle by the name of Danny Dugan. Oh, he was a big game hunter, wasn't he? Yeah, one of the best. They, he got wild animals for fruit near all the circuses. I know. Father used to talk about what a wonderful marksman he was. Before Dad died, he, he was trying to locate Uncle Dan. Locate? Yeah. He disappeared about five years ago, and nobody's ever heard of him since. Is that so? Uh-huh. Hmm. Well, maybe my father has. I'll write and see. I know he knew Danny Dugan awfully well. Gee, you will? Mm hmm That's well. You know, Uncle Dan's the only relative I've got. Rags, get away from that infant. Want to get stepped on by an elephant? Well, I... I guess I'd better get back to the pad room. Uh, see you later, Jerry. So long. Come on, Rags. Well, Rags, old scout, think you're going to like this circus life? <coughs> All right. I'm talking to you. I want to know how you like circus life. Well, that's better. But let me tell you one thing. You won't stay long if you pull any more monkey shines like you did tonight. <coughs> Go on in, Rags. I'm following you. Hello there, pup. <coughs> well, aren't you a friendly little thing? <laughs> Where on earth did you come from? <laughs> well, a boy, too. Hello. Does the boy go with the dog? He sure does. <laughs> You're not looking for a nice new master for this animal, are you? <laughs> I should say not. Well, th that's a pity. I I'd like to adopt him. <laughs> Guess you'd have to adopt me, too, mister. <laughs> well, I might manage the dog, but... Uh, I don't know as I could smuggle a boy along, too. <laughs> yeah, I am pretty big. <laughs> My name's Decker. What's your name, son? Jerry. Something wrong? No. Uh, why? You, you look so funny. Did I? Sorry. Jerry. Jerry. <laughs> uh, nice name, Jerry. The dog's my buddy. His name's Rags. Rags? Well... Rags, old boy, give me your paw. <laughs> ah. Good. He's got nice manners, too, Jerry. Sure, I trained him. You did? Well, it looks like you did a good job. Uh-huh. Well, Dad helped me. Oh, of course. That's what dads are for. You live in this town? Not anymore. No? No, I, I'm joining the circus. Oh, you don't say. Does uh, Mr. Randall know about it? He sure does. He hired me. Oh, well... Then I guess I won't have to smuggle you and Rags along after all, huh? You see, <laughs> Dad was a friend of Mr. Randall's and... Oh, well, so your dad's coming too, well, that's... No, Dad died just last week. Oh, I'm sorry, son. He left me a letter for Mr. Randall and, well, I... Yes, I... That's fine. Well, Jerry, it'll be mighty nice having you along this season. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sure. And you too, Rag. <laughs> yes, sir, I, I certainly didn't mean to leave you out. <laughs> kind of sensitive, that dog, huh, Jerry? He sure is. Lots more than folks. Than some folks. Oh, oh sure, I, I didn't mean you. 
I wonder why you and I like animals so much, Derek. Because they like us, I expect. Of course. They just think we can't do anything wrong. We're always popped with them, aren't we? You betcha. And even after we've had to school them, they'll come up for a pat or a, or a kind word. Pretty real kind of love, isn't it, Jerry? But I, I didn't mean exactly that. What did you mean? You know, Jerry, I like even the wildest and most dangerous animals we have in this circus. Gee, do you? I'm crazy about wild animals myself. I don't know why, but I'm, I'm never afraid of them. Not a bit. Me neither. Have you ever been around wild animals before, Jerry? Well, no, but, but still, I just know I wouldn't be afraid. That's the ticket, son. The minute they know you're afraid, well, you're, you're done for. Can they tell? Sure, sure they can. Gee. Why, it's, uh, it's like an instinct. Just like we smell things, they sense uh, fear. Golly, almost like mind reading, isn't it? <laughs> well, I never thought of it like that, but maybe you're right, Jerry. Decker! Decker! Uh, yes, Lorenz. Uh, bring those knives and hurry up. Our act goes on next. Uh, coming. I am absent-minded. Sorry, Sonny. Uh, I gotta run along. I'll see you later. Bye, pup. Bye. Wait a minute, Lorenz. I'll walk over to the main tent with you. Daydreaming again, I suppose. Got the knife? Here they are. Who are you talking to? Oh, that little freckle-faced boy that's sharing the wagon with us. He's a cute kid. Cute nothing. And as for that nasty dog of his, he snapped at me and bit my wrist this afternoon. Why, that's funny. He seemed friendly enough to me. Hey. You think? Listen, that car dog was snooping around my prop box, and I will not take that from anybody. I pushed him off. And he leaped at me, snarling. Uh, I never did like dogs. And I'm not going to have a vicious animal hanging around any wagon I dress in. Oh, but the ranch... Listen, I got it all fixed. I've just put some poisoned meat under the wagon. So for the first time that dog goes out, he'll smell the meat, eat it up, and go away and die someplace. Hmm. He'll be Snoopy for the last time. <laughs> Lorenz, one smart fellow, what do you think? Uh, Lorenz, you, you can't do that. Why not? Well, well that, that boy worships this dog. Yeah, well, I don't. And you keep out of this, see? But, but... Listen, Decker, I've kept you out of plenty of trouble. Yeah. If it wasn't for me, you'd spend the rest of your life in jail, and you know it. I know, Lorenz, and I appreciate it. But after all, all right. I can't... When this dog is found dead, be sure you keep your mouth shut. Mm -hmm.